Yeah, here's a really quick way you can make a, uh, a custom desk using PowerPoint. Now, obviously pretty easy to do, and the benefit of creating your own objects like this is that uh, you always have the option to really extend them or uh, reduce them. So let me just bring this out a little bit, right? So I can always come in and make it a little bit wider, grab each of the pieces. And of course you can group it, save it as a, uh, as a PNG file or something, but the benefit just is having your own so that you can customize it based on uh, your particular needs rather than relying on maybe a stock image that really isn't able to be modified. So what I'll just do is undo that and I'm gonna copy it. because I think it's always easier if you have something as a reference. So whether it's an illustration or a photo, but just to kind of see what those initial shapes are. So let me zoom out and I'm just going to resize a little bit. So really working with just two shapes, a rectangle and a trapezoid. So I'll come in here and just grab one of these real quick. Now the first thing I had done in the when I was setting this up is that you see how it created a, a black uh, rectangle without any outline. I want to save that, right? So I'd already created that once and I right clicked and I choose, uh, let me come up here, save as default picture or a shape actually. And what that means is that every time I draw a new shape, it's actually gonna be based on that one. So I don't have to go ahead each time and then remove the outline from my graphics. Just saves a couple steps like that. So just eyeballing it like this, if I had specifics, I would use size and position. So that's in place. Uh, control click or control drag to get a, the other uh, leg over there. Now we're gonna insert the trapezoid so we can create the uh, side part of the desk. So something like that, and I'll just rotate it. Let's make this one a little bit lighter, right, for the shadow. Something like that, and we can always come back in. So a couple things here. These objects should snap into place, but if they don't or you don't trust them snapping, you can always right-click and um, let's come up here, right-click and choose size and position. And then you can really just check them out to make sure that each of these is correct. So if I look at this one, I see that my width is 26 and my height is 233. 75 and 233 so right because i rotated this this is why the width and the height are um, opposite so the height is fine so i'll keep that and i'll just bring it in over here and let's rotate this one hold the shift key down to constrain that put it in place looks okay i'll grab this one control drag just to reuse it doesn't matter i could have drawn a new one and that'll be the side the front of the desk and a couple things now, right? I could bring this desk in a little bit farther. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this trapezoid out. So I'm gonna hold the control key again and just drag it up. And let's turn it this way. And this will be the top of our desk. And drag it over. So again, maybe it's a front of the desk. So what's neat here is it depends on what your angle is, right? If you had a character standing here but facing toward the wall, this could be like a drafting table, or we can drag it down and make it more like a uh, regular desk table. And the only piece left is really this inside piece. So I can reuse what I already have here. So control drag, and then I'll resize it a bit. And let's make that a lot lighter. So format, something like that. And essentially that's it. Once you have it, you can group it, save it out as a PNG if you wanna use it quickly. Uh, you can bring these in a bit too if you wanna make it look like uh, the desk is a little narrower on the side. And then of course, to uh, extend this, I can just grab those two, use my arrow key, and then I can just select each of these, all three of them, drag it out, and so on. So real simple to create your, your basic illustrated elements here in PowerPoint. Um, in this case, it's just two different shapes, rotated and a couple different colors, but uh, just another way that you can begin to create some of your own uh, stock assets in PowerPoint.